Hey guys, it's me Sam and I'm talking about stuff that I bought today. It's a shopping haul. Okay, nothing expensive or swanky or anything like that, but it's been a while since I've done a bit of a splurge of myself, so I thought I would take the time out to share what I've bought myself this afternoon with you lovely lot. Yeah, I've not long got back from Bromsgrove and I'm just going to chill out now for a bit as well as... um obviously record this for you guys got a nice cup of coffee here to chill out with yes I did say coffee I'm not drinking it all the time nowhere near as much as I used to but I do like to have a cup now and then just to unwind with and chill out obviously I've got a cigarette on the go as well so you do see clouds of smoke throughout the video I do apologise but one is chuffing oh I on a fig now, half the stuff that I bought today, to be perfectly honest, guys, I didn't have any real intentions of actually buying. So they're, they're more impulse buys, really. And as I said, it's been a while since I had a bit of a spurge on myself, and sometimes one needs to treat herself. There's not wrong with that. I earn my own money. I go to work. I earn my own wage. So I should be entitled to now and then spend some of it on me. Once I got down into Bromsgrove, the first place that I visited was Body Care. And there wasn't anything in particular that I really, really wanted to buy. I say that, but I'm lying in a way. Um, because I wear heels a lot at work now, obviously sometimes I can get quite uncomfortable. So, for, so basically something I was actually looking for was some gel cushions to put in my shoes. And I came across these from a company called The, the Foot Factory. And these are their gel cushions. They are clear non-slip gel foot and heel cushions which i'm now going to open up and show you there you go there they are and it says on the back in the very pretty packaging that they came with uh the foot factory gel cushions are made of soft gel to cushion and comfort every step the gel design helps to provide shock absorption and an ideal for high heeled shoes perfect tom uh directions ball of foot cushions which I'm not really sure which are which, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, the border foot cushions uh, you place inside the shoe to smooth side down, place the pointed part of the cushion towards the heel. So what did, yeah, I presume it's those ones, so yeah, okay. And then the heel cushions, which are obviously these ones, uh, peel off firm, place over existing insole or sock liner and against the inside back of the shoe. After I've played around with them see what happens these cost me if i recall 1.99 now the one thing i was actually looking for in particular while i was down in bromsgrove was something funny i know that some of you are going to find this absolutely disgusting i'm not going to say we all get it because luckily some people don't but how can i go about this um i suffer with athlete's foot at the moment guys and I need to do something about it, especially as the summer months are coming up and I want to get my feet out on show and sandals and stuff like that. So I had a look for some cream to use to get rid of it and I found this some body care. It's from Mycota and obviously it's their athlete's foot cream. Um, I haven't obviously used it yet so it'll be interesting to see if it does work. Apparently I just need to smooth the cream onto a dry foot on the affected area every morning and night continue for one week after all signs of infection have disappeared i'll give it a go let's see if it works if not well i only paid 1.99 for it so nothing too extravagant in price so i needn't worry if it doesn't work i'll just have to buy something that does now obviously as i'm fiandering up the high street i'm popping into this and i'm popping into that and just basically mooching and anything caught my eye that I might have been tempted to buy but if not I didn't bother um so the next place where I did actually buy something from was Savers and there was uh, a couple of things that I got from there the first thing that I picked up was this new hairspray from Swartz Cough it's that got to be made for mess hairspray this is a texturizing hairspray by all counts which gives you touchable texture, natural finish. Basically, it says on the back, mess is the new beauty. No kidding. 
create artfully undone styles that last we've got to be made from this the texturized hairspray is the ultimate styling tool for your masterpiece touchable textures with a casual and natural finish because you are made for mess yeah okay um so anyway you basically spray it onto your dry hair and then you get your fingers and you attach your hair to give you the creative desired style use in short bursts let's give it a test okay so for this one it needs to take down the hair let's give it a quick shake give it a spray about and then apparently you're meant to get your fingertips and I don't know. Does it look any tassel? Does it look any different? What do you reckon, guys? Has that done anything to me mop? Other than obviously make it look like a mess. Uh, the next thing that I picked up was some dry shampoo that I didn't actually need to get any more dry shampoo because I've got about three different lots upstairs. But it was so eye-catching and like, it was so like calling me so I, I bought it and it's from so it is the Vava Volume Dry Hair Shampoo. It gives extra body and uh, I've never used this before. Apparently you've got no water, no fuzz, clean hair on the go. So on the back. So dry shampoo gently revitalizes look a lost rare by removing grease with one just burst of gorgeous smelling fragrance. Shake on for hair with texture and brilliant body with no need for water. Shake on first. Let's give it a go. Because my hair does need washing. I'm still not so sure about the hairspray I've just bought, which I forgot so it cost me two sixty nine. So Oh I don't like the fact that it leaves white stuff in the air. Oh great. It sent me grey. That meant to happen? Maybe you should like put it in and let it soak up the grease and then brush it out afterwards. I don't know. Because it's supposed to add body to your hair. I wish. Now I paid a pound for this. So I obviously need to try it again a couple of times to see if it does actually do anything other than send my hair grey. I'll let you know, guys. I thought one is currently smoking a cigarette at the moment. I'm not a dragon. Honest, I am thinking about actually giving up smoking, guys. My boss, Paul, keeps on at me to give up smoking. I couldn't understand why. I probably do stink of an ashtray. I'm aware of the fact that I probably... I, well, no, I do. Simple as that, guys. So, um, I came across this product while I was in service. It was only one ninety nine, so I thought I'll give it a go, see if it helps me at all. I mean, I can, like take it to work with me and if I'm because there's times when I light up a cigarette but I don't really want it so this might help and this is this crave away smokeless cigarette uh the safe cigarette with the tobacco taste similar to a real cigarette it's, it's been invented to help you give up smoking to help you cut down on smoking and to help you when and where you can't smoke I've already had a trial run on it I just suck it in, obviously nothing comes out your mouth, there's no smoke. And because it's got a slight menthol taste to it, that's all really I can actually taste in my mouth when I take, or should I say when I inhale it. Um, obviously I'm going to have to take it to work with me and trial it out and see if it is a good replacement to a cigarette. It's got to be done guys, it's definitely worth giving it a go just to see if it will help me knock cigarettes on the head while at least I'm at work. I mean, once I get out of this work I can chuff away as much as I like, but I need to cut down and eventually stop, so I'm hoping this will work. Now, even though I've got myself a job and all that, I'd still love to pop into charity shops on the high street because... Sometimes you can find some really bloody good bargains, such as these babies I found today. Obviously, you know, summer's coming, 
It's been absolutely glorious here today in the UK. In fact, it's been glorious, as glorious over the last few days, but obviously I've been stuck in the office, so I haven't been able to appreciate it as much. And obviously, because now it's getting more warmer, obviously, I need to update my wardrobe and get a few more summery things in. So the first charity shop that I popped into was for the PVSA, which I am very, very proud to support. Without the PVSA, my old cat Smokey would have died and they saved his life and brought him back and made him all good after being run over. And um, yeah, PVSA always gets the thumbs up for me and I came across this really, really cute pink top, which cost me £3.49 and it was originally from Papier. So I would hazard a guess and say it was normally retailed around, I don't know, between 10 and 20 pounds to guess. I, I like, I just like the pinkness, which is unusual for me because I like, normally like dark, gothic -y stuff. Um, but it was the cute little ribbon that got me. And I just thought that would be really nice to wear in the office. And as well as that, to go with it, I came across this skirt which is just a normal bob standard pencil skirt from two no idea who two is it's spelled to you so if you know let me know one thing i liked about the skirt was the fact that it's elasticated sometimes i bloat like you wouldn't believe honestly i look like a beach well half the time but this skirt cost me just under four quid so it's 3.99 and as i said i thought it would go with that pink top so oh, that's one outfit sorted i then went into my most favorite charity shop of all time and it's extra care so it's more for raising money for elderly people so i'm more bumming for that and i came across this t-shirt and cardi combination thing which as you can see actually in touch so it's it's not like two things it's one thing making it look like it's too, it's not. I just thought, you know, it'd be nice for chilling in at the weekends or even on a casual Friday at work. The one thing I didn't realise, and I thought, how much of a naughty am I for not to know, is that it's got one of these horrible tie things on it. I mean, I might have to give it a go and see if it looks all right. I mean, if not, I'm going to have to cut it off because I can't stand it off. That's all. This cost me £3.49. It was originally from Jane Norman, so it wouldn't have been cheap in the first place. It, it doesn't look like it's been worn much anyway. But as I said, very nice and casual and comfortable. And whilst in there, I came across these trousers. Now, my daughter's got a very similar pair. I love the green olive colour of these. Very, very similar. I was thinking I could wear these in the office, team with a nice white top or yellow top. But they'd be cool for the summer. As you can see, they're quite skinny, which is all a trend at the moment. And for some reason, look good on me. And for I've got a big bum. Um, I'm a little concerned about whether they're going to fit me, actually. Uh, they're originally from Papier, and I paid two ninety nine for them. I will have to try them on and hope to god that they do bloody fit me uh, after that i popped over to our local asda because there was a few bits and bobs that i needed to get for in the week for example i must have my belfita breakfast bars to munch on in the office at work in the mornings i absolutely adore these ones these are their soft bakes in with red berries as you can see they're brand new and they are absolutely gorgeous I think at the moment, well, a normal price, I think they're going to be about two ninety nine, which I think is a ridiculous price. But at the moment, they're retailing for between one twenty five and two twenty five, depending on where you get them from. Unfortunately, the two twenty five in Aston at the moment, when I found them last week, it was in Tesco's, and they were one twenty five. Anyway, I can't be without these guys. It's as simple as that. They are so filling, which is good. Love the food. We're here to see what goodies that I treated myself to. As I'm meandering around me, I always picking up bits and bobs. I decided I needed to get myself some more body spray. I've been using it quite a lot lately. And um, 
At the moment, I'm getting lifts into work. I have done for the last few, well, I say a few, say last six to seven months of my lovely friend Andrea. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous lady, excellent graphic designer, that's all I'm going to say. But unfortunately, she's leaving us at the end of this month, and I'm going to bloody miss her. And as she's been giving me lifts into work, this means I won't be getting lifts into work anymore someone's gonna have to start walking to work and back again which is in a way it's pretty good because i put on quite a bit of weight lately so i'm hoping this will help me shift that weight again and obviously because i'm going to be walking it's going to be quite warm i don't be smelling when i get to the office so body spray is always good to have in the handbag so i went for a good old impulse this is one of my favourite fragrances, this is Teas, and it's in the scent of red fruits and woods. I love this scent, I absolutely adore it. And I, mm. uh, what else did I get while I was in there? I came across this Ed band, which cost me £2. It's not a bit swanky about it, it's just a hair band really, which you just stick in your hair. Excuse the fact that it's still got the label in it. And... It just keeps my hair at my face, which is always good, especially when I'm working on my computer at work. Now, because half the time I just end up like swinging my hair about, trying to get it out of my face. But this, this will naturally do it for me, which is good. And for two quid, bargain. While I was looking at the headbands, I, I've, I've already got sunglasses. I really didn't need any more. But I bought them. And they were only four quid, so, you know, I can't really bitch about that. They're just some bog-standard sunglasses. That's what they actually look like. And uh, what can I say about them? Uh, UV protection's pretty good. It's got 400. But I liked how they looked on me. If I just can just ignore the bits and bobs on them. I liked them. I liked them a lot. So I had them. Now, I don't know about you lovely ladies, but before I go to bed, I like my bedroom to be smelling nice before I get into my pit and collapse and probably sleep, basically. So I wanted some nice smelling scent to spray in my room before I go to Nine Eyes, and I came across this from Asda's own George Range. It is the Oriental Lily Room Spray. It's a sweet floral scent with a touch of vanilla. Uh, for instantly refreshing your room uh, and basically that that's that's what it is it's just a, a room spray but it smells absolutely gorgeous now i don't know what it is about asta no matter what i can't help myself but whenever i go to asta i always end up buying something from their clothing range and this time i bought three products from their clothing range the first of all was this absolutely gorgeous white top that i found for six pounds it's just a basic sleeveless white top which would look good for in work and for out of work i can wear these with my skinny jeans i can pair them with them green trousers that i bought and showed you earlier and it'd just be nice i just thought yeah lovely like it a good price too i'm not sure of the material but it looks comfy so that's what i like i like comfy all day i've been thinking it's going to rain because the info has been really, really warm. There's been like really low cloud and all day it's just looked like it's going to absolutely whack it down with rain. I've just looked out of my window and guess what? It's absolutely whacking it down with rain. It would surprise me if we have a dirty old thunderstorm. I hope so I'm going to go and run outside in it and go, because I love thunder. I really do. Anyway, back to what I bought. came across this gorgeous yellow vest top which I just fell in love with immediately. So bright and so in your bloody face. This would look excellent with a nice pair of white jeans or just normal box standard skinny blue jeans. May even go with my green trousers that I bought. We'll have to see. But I paid six pounds for this top. I just couldn't resist it. As I was walking past the bra aisle, it kind of like dawned on me. What would I wear under? That top, I mean, yep, yeah, maybe you can wear a white bra, but you'd still be able to see it. So I thought, just to come by and add a bit more funkiness to the outfit, I came across this bra. It's so bright. It's unbelievable. And as you can see, I only paid £4 for it. It's just a bog-standard T-shirt bra. And yes, 
you can see how big my puppies are unfortunately for some reason i do not understand why my puppies are growing and growing and i just can't see they just seem to get big i don't know why they keep growing i don't understand you'd think because now i'm getting older they start shrinking but no they're growing so yeah that that's my shopping haul done thank you very much for taking the time to watch it i'm sure i had fun did it maybe i was imagining it who knows as i was saying thank you very much for taking the time to watch if you've got anything you would like to ask me please do so by leaving your comments down below as always please do give me a rating by giving me either thumbs up or thumbs down depending on whether you like the video or not it's up to you your choice really this is something i don't and i would never understand about youtube is that we we come in here we do we do our videos for you guys sometimes you get people that really like your videos and they subscribe to you, and that's brilliant, I love that. And then you get people who watch your videos, and they give you so much hate. It's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, you know, we, we understand you're going to give you hate if you don't like something. But, for example, last week, um, it was for one of my special effects tutorials I did at least a good couple of years ago, where I um, basically showed you what it's like when you die after hanging yourself yeah i know pretty morbid but i thought at the time it was pretty cool i didn't realize i'd actually tamed the ratings off so i didn't really give anybody the, the, the chance to give their actual real opinions but i suppose if people didn't like it they would have said so in the comments down below which this person did they 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 basically said that they compared me to hitler that's all I'm going to say, and I found that insulting, disgusting, and degrading, and basically I went off on one or two and told them to get the facts right and go away. I don't understand why people do that. Okay, give your opinion, say, I didn't like this video, blah, 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 but to do that, totally and utterly wrong. Anyway, enough of me rants. Thank you very much again, guys. Please do take care. I will hopefully try and come back at some point to do some more videos. If not, I'll see you all at the end of this month. Well, I will be doing my usual monthly favourites, empties and unfavourites. Until then, please do take care and I am gone. Bye bye for now.